your nail down. I'm Jason Gilbo at jgilbo11, taking a look at tonight's five-game slate. Uh, not a lot to work with as far as pitching goes. Uh, everything's pretty much narrowed down and chosen for us. Um, we got the, the Phillies game out in San Francisco. That's really where we're going to be looking for a ton of pitching options. Um, and then also Luis Severino in New York. Um, Severino's a guy that I, I love tonight. He's the top option for me. Um, he's a huge home favorite in a, in a ballpark that's pretty spacious. Obviously, this Mets offense is... Uh, pretty average, I would say, right now, um, a team that you can actually really target. Um, strikeout rate's been a lot higher um, of late. You're getting some of those younger bats in there who don't have as much major league experience. Um, you know, over the last 30 days, Mets are 26 in Woba, 24.7% strikeout rate. The power's still there, uh, but Severino's a guy that who, obviously, after his latest blow-up, um, before that, I mean, Severino's a guy that you just really don't worry about in terms of blowing up. Um you know, back on track tonight, um, he's a huge favorite, minus 192 favorite there at Vegas. Uh, you look at the Mets, total rate around three. Severino, really not all that expensive uh, on FanDuel. Uh, DraftKings, he's obviously 12-5, um, you know, carries a little bit more weight. But I, obviously, you're picking one of him or Aaron Nola in that 12K range. It's just there's not a lot of other options um, lower than that. So, you know, you look at all the numbers, uh, Severino, excellent ground ball rate, 51%. Uh, misses a ton of bats, 28.1% strikeout rate, 6.4% walk rate. Um, been really solid. He's been one of the better pitchers this year, been one of the better fantasy pitchers this year you can trust. Uh, and a, a road matchup against the Mets where he gets to, you know, take out the DH. He's not pitching that Bronx uh, Yankee Stadium. Um, you, you kind of look here and, and feel pretty good about Severino. So he comes in as number one option for me, even with Aaron Nola and how, how well he's pitched. But Aaron Nola is definitely a close second tonight. Um, this one's basically a pick em. It's between two of the you know poorer offenses in the league. Uh, Aaron Nola just continues to dominate. He's not allowed more than two earned runs since the start back in June in Arizona. Um, ERA sits around 302. Um, it's 25.8% strikeout rate this year. You know, uh, obviously a top three pitchers ballpark against a, a Giants team that, you know, continues to struggle uh, and, I, you know, you can fire away against. Uh, they just don't have any power. Uh, the one thing is they don't strike out a ton. Um, and Nolan's kind of facing teams that also don't strike out a ton, but he, he's had it working. Um, I, I'm still fine with him here. Obviously the 12K pricing and DraftKings is – it's up there uh, for Aaron Nola. You know, I think 9900 on FanDuel is certainly reasonable, but he's more expensive than Severino. So I'm, I'm curious to see the ownership between those two tonight, especially on FanDuel and DraftKings, um, and, and kind of splitting hairs there. I, I'm assuming they're going to be top two in terms of ownership, um, but with Jeff Samarja kind of a little bit cheaper, you can, people might hop, hop off there. Um, but you look at Nola, I mean, once again, he's incredibly tough against right-handers. Uh, there's no Brandon Belt in this lineup. Uh, this is just an awful lineup, and there's a couple more younger bats that do throw out a couple of strikeouts. Pablo Sandoval's in there as well. So a um, little bit higher strikeout rate than, than actually some of the uh, other Giants ones, So especially those lefties of you know Parker and um, – Sandoval, uh, Ryder Jones, Brandon Crawford, uh, they're not really threatening uh, left-handers there to take advantage of Nola, especially in that ballpark. So uh, definitely like him a ton. Third guy on my list here, Jeff Samarja. Uh, obviously, you know, these three are going to be the popular ones. Uh, there's no kind of real shine away from it. Samarja, 10.3% swing strike rate this year, 25% strikeout rate. Has a walk rate under four. Um, once again, I mean, his Sierra XFIP all about a run and a half lower than his, his ERA. Uh, so Marsh is a top-end option uh, against the Phillies team that strike out 23.5% of the time against righties. They're also bottom five in Woba and ISO against right-handers. So, uh, so Marsh is a safe play in all formats. If you'd like to uh, you know, spend down in the SP2, I think he's a guy. I think you pair him with Severino or Nola in cash games. GPP, Samarja is going to be a guy who probably go all actually all in on tonight just because um, he's going to just corral a lot of lineups at his price tag. So 8900 on FanDuel, you get a little bit of a discount from him and Nola. Um, you get a bigger discount over on DraftKings. He's a $3,000 difference between Severino and Nola. So I definitely don't mind going that route uh, and kind of choosing him and having him anchor a lot of your lineups just to kind of get that saving. So uh, outside of that, um, you know – Fairly low total in St. Louis and Pittsburgh. It's Adam Wainwright versus Seamus Italian. Um, this game is kind of weird because I'm not really looking at it for hitters, but I'm not really looking at it for pitchers either. I think both are in play in terms of GPPs. Um, I, I don't really like Wainwright's upside all that much. Um, Italian's more interesting um, just given the fact that he is so tough on right-handers. 
and you know Carpenter and Fowler are the only two lefties in this lineup. I mean, maybe Colton Long, but I'm not really worried about him. Um, but you look at Italian, I mean, you know, tough on righties. Uh, you know, 47% ground ball rate, 27% strikeout rate. Uh, lefties, the strikeout rate goes down a lot, but the ground ball rate shoots up to 53%. Italian's a, a really good arm. Um, you know, he's not a big strikeout guy, only 8.3% swing strike rate, but 22% strikeout rate. Walks aren't really an issue. He does issue a lot of soft contact, 22.4% this season. Uh, Babbitt is sky high. Once again, you expect his numbers to kind of jump down. That ERA of 4.5 isn't really yeah, isn't really Italian. Um, so I, I don't mind him tonight. He's an interesting one just given the fact that the slate doesn't really present a ton of pitching options. So I think those guys are both decent swerves. Um, I would definitely re- lean towards Italian over Wainwright in that game. Um, and I think the only other game that I actually have any interest in, um, and, and that's Washington San Diego. It's not Edwin Jackson. This is a guy I just know. Um, I know he's going back back to an old ballpark. Um, you know, I know the Padres offense, but uh, Padres offense actually really hasn't been that bad of late. Um, the strikeout rate's still there, but we're getting a lot of hot bats. I actually prefer overtaking Jackson tonight. I think Shasin's he's interesting on DraftKings because he's six K as an SP two. He does help free a lot of salary in, in a slate where we're pretty much narrowed down up top. But look at Chassin, I mean, uh, 242 Woba, 1.86 ERA at home this year. Uh, hard contact goes down. The home runs go down, obviously, in that ballpark. Um, you know, lefties is where he struggles. I think Wilmer Defoe and um, Daniel Murphy are the only two that are really of concern. Uh, Defoe's not a huge threat. But um, Rendon Zimmerman, I mean, you, you look at Chassini, he's got a pretty good ground ball rate against righties and, and holds him to a 257 Woba, also 26% soft contact rate. So um, I actually rather use Chassini as an SP2 in this game if, if you are choosing one. Um, and that's just kind of the pay up for bats. It might be more, more of a tournament move if you consider it that way, and you can just fit a lineup in with Samarja and Nola or Samarja and Severino and kind of go that route. So um, it's five games. So, I mean, you know, the, the San Francisco game is where we're headed. Severino is where we're headed. Those are the three top options. Uh, I think Talian and Chassin kind of rind out the other two in terms of making it five. So um, a, a decent night to kind of mix and match those guys. Um, there's a lot of options. I think, you know, the offense in Texas, just too poor of a ballpark. I'm a big fan of Reynaldo Lopez, but, um, you know, this probably isn't a spot to use him. So let's wrap it up. You can head to our Check out the great tools and content.